prestige god! I was put on planet Earth for one reason, and it was to make the absolute best wheel of my prestige as any man could ever concoct! I am he, I am him, I am him. Troy Palomalu! Hey, thank you guys so much for your patience. Didn't get to record a new Wheel of Mutt till I got back home to Arizona, but it was well worth the wait. As there's a brand new 95 overall Troy Palomalu with one AP Acrobat. As many of you know, Troy Palomalu is a prestige, and I just literally last episode benched him because he was getting outdated. And the prestige gods accepted my prayer once again and give us the best strong safety in the game locked into our team with my strategy he has boosted play rec and zone coverage which gives him 99 zone coverage he's got 94 speed 97 excel as far as a user goes he is a little short five foot ten is a short user however he won't always be my user only in nickel formation will he be my user regardless he's absolutely incredible we couldn't have asked for much more he's even got 94 change of direction so on those pick sixes he should be super solid block shedding is great and then obviously 99 zone is absolutely insane and he also has 95 hit power. So this was a much, much, much needed upgrade. And we'll take it for the squad. And of course, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. They sell coins on every single platform. You can also directly buy players or training points. Buying limiteds and quick selling them is probably the safest route. So I recommend that. This is a significantly better deal than what EA is going to offer you. And you can get 10% off when using the code MMG. Just use the link at the top of the description. Now, as many of you know, this is the episode after Christmas. So I have Christmas presents to open. There's a lot of exciting stuff. Palomalu's now strong safety. Kyle Hamilton's the backup. That means when Troy is the user, our high safety is Hamilton. And when we are in any other formation, our high safety is Troy Palomalu. We've got Micah, Montez Sweat, Sauce Gardner, Pat P, and Weapon X. Our defense is stunning. My offense is honestly in the same boat. My guards could use a little bit of work. 90 and 86 isn't crazy at this point in the game. Uh, but backfield is nasty. Tight end is Mid. Wide receivers are amazing. So that's where we're at. I think today my goal is probably an awesome tight end as well as a better right outside linebacker. I think those are the two key points I'd like to work on. And if we get any further than that, I think D tackle two left in and actually a punter. Now we are in the playoffs. So this is the wild card. Let's start though with those Christmas presents. So if you remember the last episode, I spun a wheel to see how many presents I could get. I ended up getting 15. My pulls were not incredible, but we did get two really good presents. There's the lovely present and the blitz present. Blitz present guarantees the blitz player, which is an 89 overall or better. It could be Troy Anderson, who I've been trying to get for forever. If it was Montez Sweat, I'll cry myself to sleep. That would be so lucky slash unlucky. Lovely present. Since when I opened these on Christmas, they were bugged. I, I genuinely don't know what's in that present, but I do know it's like a 90 plus overall player generally. So it should be a good player. Small is just weak zero chill players with a potential of a good one. Harvest is small Thanksgiving players with a potential of a good one. And team of the week might be where we really clutch up. So let's just start here with team of the week. There's only a few positions that are real upgrades, but if this was like... Okay. So obviously Andy Dalton's not going to help us. OJ, you know what's funny? That actually is pretty good. Because I think Higby's on an island over there. And my third is DeAndre Swift. Oh, I love DeAndre Swift. But it's not going to be better than Nick Chubb. So Team of the Week presents weren't much. Let's do our small presents next. See if we can just get crazy lucky on a pull. Honestly, though, any punter pull is a really good pull here. Ooh, I just remembered something. The Harvest Packs. Bro, the most common pull in the Harvest Packs is 80 overall Bradley Pinion. I think is his name. He's a punter for the Falcons, I think. It would be a huge upgrade. So far, these aren't doing much for me. We just need to clutch up on that lively present. Pat Elfline, you won't help me either. My last small present is Derek Mason. Doesn't particularly help me. Harvest present. What do we got? Tevin Jenkins. I've never wanted to pull a punter so bad. And I, I pulled it so many times on the other account. We gotta have it in here, right? Shawan Taylor. I think I only have three harvests. This is my last opportunity at it if I'm gonna get it. Oh no, I have one more. I have one more chance. I have one more chance. I'm getting all the 80s that aren't the punter. Come on, baby. Come on, I actually want a punter right now, bro. <sighs> Andrew back. Darn it. All right, that just leaves the lovely present and the blitz. I'm gonna start with blitz. Mad Max Crosby would actually be one of the best pulls we could get here. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, oh. That's actually huge. Dude, he's so much better than Tyler Higby. I'm sorry, Tyler Higby. He is shorter than Tyler Higby, so it is another small tight end, which I don't like. But he does have 90 speed. Maybe I'll make him the backup. I don't know. His run blocking sucks, too. I, hey, listen. I asked for a tight end. Beggars can't be choosers. All right. We got one usable player out of these. The lovely present has to clutch up. I really don't remember what this is. It's a team of the week. Jason Pierre. Oh. Right outside my Isn't that the exact position I needed? Let's 
go. Damn, he's actually pretty good. 91 finesse, 90 block shed, 88 speed, 6-5. That actually clutched up. Yup, right outside linebacker. And you know what? Now that I say it out loud, I think I got EJ speed, middle linebacker. I could put him in for Bree Servin. Not that he'll really ever come in the game, but you know what? Quan Alexander would actually be pretty good there. Let's put Quan in. All right, so we're 91 overall now, which is amazing. We've got Troy Palomalu in. And my backup tight end right now is Kari Blasingame, who's a fullback, but he definitely blocks better. So the question is, do I want the fullback in who's six foot, 88 speed, but can block? Or do I want a Conquo in who can't block at all? Honestly, I'm kind of a ground and pound guy. I think I got to stick with Blasingame. I don't know how you say his name. Kari Blasingame, maybe. But I'm sticking with him. We're not putting in a Conquo. 53 run block, dude. He's going to get pancaked. I won't be able to run the ball. All right, gentlemen. First wheel spin. Oh my gosh. Are you seeing this? No, you're not. You're not seeing this in the new year. But it's about to be. This might be the... Oh my God. So much just happened while I was talking. Special teams jackpot. That'll certainly get me a punter if I want it. The thing is, special teams jackpot I really should use on a kicker. Except I can't really upgrade kicker that hard. Because Michael Badgley is going to do what I need him to do. It doesn't matter if I went to Justin Tucker. He's just going to do the same thing. Maybe I could kick like two yards further. I asked for a punter. I guess I can get the best punter in the game now. The best punter in the game is 91 Ray Guy. The only other good punter in the game is 90 overall Randall Cunningham punter. Hunter. I can't believe I'm using a jackpot on this card right here. But I guess if I want to do a fake punt, I'll have a good thrower. He has 92 kick powers. Actually, really good. And 83 kick accuracy. All right, first wheel's been a little underwhelming. I'm not going to lie. But that's okay. Because we got another one coming in right here. It's another jackpot. Except this time, I can choose anything. My left end is pretty poverty. But I'm getting sick of Tyler Higby. So if I wanted to go tight end, my best option is probably Travis Kelsey, who is a 91 overall. All, but not in love with that idea. I could upgrade left guard. If I wanted to do left end, I could get the Max Crosby I was talking about. You know, I actually, I do think that's the best option. I think my offense is going to get by, and I think when I do get a tight end, I kind of want it to be like a god tier tight end. I don't want to do like a minor tight end upgrade. Mad Max Crosby. All right, our first two wheel spins I actually filled serious holes in the team. I like it. This one, if it's a monster spin, I want a tight end. Oh, I may not have a choice. The height jackpot. Okay, give me somebody tall. It'll be a tight end if they're tall. No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. You're getting too short. Really wanted a tight end, but six foot two. All right, I just did a custom search on mutt.gg to see all of the six foot two players in the game. There's 95 overall CD Lamb. There's 95 overall Antonio Cromartie. 95 William Perry. 95 Warren Sapp. Taysom Hill. Dude, I could rock Taysom Hill at tight end. Another really good option is Pat Sertan, 93, but I already have Pat Sertan. Nah, bro, I've made my decision. Taysom Hill, 6'2", which is exactly what we got on the wheel. 93 speed. His route runs are amazing. He's really more like a wide receiver, except he's still really big, 220 pounds. Additionally, he gets one AP tight end apprentice, one AP red zone threat. Damn. Taysom Hill is my decision. We're going with Taysom Hill. So one AP tight end apprentice, I feel like that's guaranteed. I might not put anything else on him. I think he might be great just like that. All right, let's see what we got on the challenge wheel before we take on our first game in the playoffs. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous, but I really like our team right now. Ooh, I am so bad at this. I really am so bad at this. My pocket presence might be one of the weakest parts of my Madden game. I don't know if I've ever gone a game without getting sacked. Can't see the top three. That's never a good sign. We're also playing in the worst. Oh my... Oh my God. Dude, this must be some really unique theme team. Oh no, there's a 95 DeMarco Murray. Never mind. That's a 95 DeMarco Murray. I, I understand better now. He doesn't have a lot open here. Oh, he really tried to heave one. Okay, so fourth and three. This is good. We could get a big stop here. Play action. Get there! Oh, let's go! Oh my God. Can I win this game? I mean, obviously I want to, but I saw his team. I got a little spooked, but now maybe he's just bad with a good team. And I didn't even get playoff markers on the field. Give it up for Commander Stadium, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go with the stretch. Let's get a nice block from Okoye. Yikes. He's got that Harold Karma. Dude, that Harold Carmichael corner is so scary. Let's get some use out of our Taysom Hill, yeah? Oh, he sees it. Shit. Where is Chubb? Oh, he's there. What a ball. Oh, 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 my God. That actually could have been so sick. We just barely missed it. Chubbs the check down. He's in man coverage. Wait for Taysom. Wait for Taysom. There he is. Switch on. Go get it. Let's go. Let's go. God, this team is so scary. Carmichael, Barr, Randy Gregory, Troy Palomalu, Watkins, too tall. Jesus Christ. Okay. 
I'm just gonna hand this off. Nice! Nice! Get in there! Nick Chubb is in. Zero sacks allowed. He started with the ball. Let's go. I'm gonna go in there with Roquan. Fuck him. Okay, good play. Wait for the cut. Oh, good. <laughs> Set him up for the Weapon X Crusher. So Michael Irvin's hurting right now. That's what we like to see. He showed run plays in the playbook before. Ooh. Oh, nice. Another big hit. Hey, you want to keep you want to keep throwing out in the open? We'll keep hitting you. Play action. He's got a whip route. He's got a couple corner routes. None appear to be open. Try to make a playmaker on Michael Irvin. Playmaker. Did not work. Play action. <sighs> Shit. Big hit. Yup. All right, he's trying to throw underneath every time. Let's just try coverage. He runs the ball, being a little trouble here, but that's it. Nothing's gonna be open here. He's got literally nothing. I'm there. I'm there. Throw it. I'm there. If I played that a little bit better, I get the INT. But still, excellent defense from Roquan. He's looking for a seam up the middle. Okay, so he doesn't have that. He got nothing. Once again, he's got nothing. Oh shit. That's oh, a fucking ball. That's what he tried doing earlier. He doesn't have a lot open here. Oh, damn, a little cover four beater. PA deep outs. I remember that play. All right, well, shit. I guess I can't camp in that defense anymore. That whole time he was looking for QB sneak in his playbook. I'm there. I'm there. Good stuff. Oh, oh. <laughs> he sacked him so fast. That was a pass play. This is a pass. Oh, okay. He runs it. We're there. We're there. Fourth and goal! He's looking to the boundaries, I think. He's looking to the edge. I've got two QB spies to cover throws over the middle. I think we got it! Good defense! My ball! Pat Pete is a savage! He's got two hit sticks and a crucial breakup. Okay. Okay, Nick! <laughs> got some time. Oh, laser! Do it, Gino! Uh, what the hi, fuck hi. is that ball? Oh my god, you have eight! <laughs> That was the most dog shit pass I've ever seen. You just had a wide open Nick Chubb down the field and you threw it to the defender in front of you? That is an unbelievably bad throw. It's not even that it was haywire. He threw it directly to the guy. Then he got lit up. Holy shit. Geno Smith lowlights. That was a perfect playmaker. How the fuck did you miss that? Ooh, he guessed the wrong side there. I think so the users manned up on Chubb. I think he makes a mistake here and Chubb gets open. Yup. And Gino can make that throw. He gotta make the other one. He make that throw. Oh. All right, 39 seconds. We're using this clock really efficiently. We just gotta get in the end zone or it's all for nothing. I'm gonna send Taysom Hill in the end zone. Let's see what he does. Ooh, oh yeah, high ball. Yes, sir! Big head! He's gonna fight Taysom Hill! Good man! That's my 6'2 tight end, baby. I think I'm just gonna go waddle here. Wait for it, wait for it. There he is. All right, no, I like what we're doing on offense. I like what we're doing on defense. I, I think we made, you know, he made a really good pass. I made a huge stop, and then we made a mistake with the pick six. So I'm honestly not concerned. A field goal here really, really makes this game good. Do I have a, have I allowed a sack? I honestly forgot if I've allowed a sack or not. All right, now he expects Chubb to go out left, so I'm gonna send Chubb out right. <laughs> it actually worked perfectly. Oh, but he had another guy using him. Shit, I expect Jalen Waddle to get open here. Go waddle. Oh, no, that's fucking... Oh, he can't run his route if he's getting bumped. Pass interference no longer exists, I understand. I'm going to send Jerry Rice out to the left as a decoy. Then I'm going to snap it. I'm going to throw it to Taysom Hill, and I'm going to pray. Perfect accuracy. Oh, my God. Could you just rob me any harder? Just put on a fucking ski mask, knock down my door, rip open the vault, and take everything I got. I'm getting robbed out here. Fucking DPI in a Madden game? It's not even supposed to be able to happen. All right, two straight run plays. Same run play both times. Yep, there's play action. Got the middle. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it! <laughs> Mama Malu! Nice play. That could have gotten bad, dude. 14 to 14 would not have been good. I wonder if I could get him with an angle route out of Nick Chubb. Or what about just Taysom Hill highball ag? Fuck. I had stuff open. All right, Taysom Hill on this corner route. There he is. And that's a great ball, Gino. All right, Gino. We're back in it, baby. This is really stupid because he's running Mike Blitz every play, but uh, fuck it. Let's get weird. Oh, Ooh, that, I feel like that had a chance. All right, Taysom Hill. T uh, carry me fucking home, dude. I can <laughs> what was that? What was that defense? I'm going to run the same play, but I'm going to flip sides. Let's see if, he's, see if he's smart enough to see me do this. I don't think he sees it. I'm just going to go Nick Chubb. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. First down. Dude, imagine that was fourth. I would freak the fuck out. Nick Chubb once again. MM check down in effect. Ooh, ooh, good move. Nick Chubb to the edge. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Matt, you're such a fucking idiot, Matt. Yeah. Oh, it worked. 
Let's go! Wild card W, which is amazing. I might have done the challenge wheel too. Assuming I never got sacked, which I don't think I did. The challenge wheel in the playoffs allows me one of any pack in the store, which includes training, which would mean I could get a 90 plus zero chill player right now. So if this is something absolutely insane, it will be crucial that I didn't get sacked. If this sucks and doesn't go on my team anyway, then it's okay. You know, we're just open a pack for fun. So I'm gonna rip this right now. If this is something God tier on the squad, I might have to rethink our zero chill player is. What? What? Wait, what? When the- What? Why would you make two de- Okay, whatever. 90 overall tight end Dexter Lawrence. Big question is- Holy shit, he's actually a god at blocking. Dude, this might actually be an, an, a crazy good tight end to use. Imagine coming out in single back stretch or I form stretch, two tight end set, where you just sub Dexter Lawrence in. Oh my god. Because Taysom Hill is my super fast small guy, and then Dexter Lawrence is my fucking bruiser. So I can use tight end Dexter Lawrence and de-tackle Dexter Lawrence. Alright, well, we're gonna operate under the assumption I didn't get sacked. Next episode, if I did get sacked, I'll take him off the team because I can't I can't check the footage while I'm recording it. Dude, this is actually monstrous. 95 run block, 91 pass, 91 truck. He's actually, he'd be a crazy good fullback too, but I already got a Koye. Dude, you know what would be galaxy brain? If you're running stretch, you put Dexter Lawrence tight end at wide receiver and then Dexter Lawrence is blocking DBs. All right, so all that's left is the rage cool wheel. Also, by the way, I've been raw dogging my phone. Um, no case, you know, going in raw. Let me know what you think. Uh, what does that say? Two of any pack. So that includes training packs too. My only concern is the 90 plus zero chill. I don't think that was a reroll. I don't think I can do that again. It was a reroll. Oh my God, I'm doing two more. Holy shit. Okay, all we need is an anime. Any animation? Any animation? And this is like a 92 plus. Shit, so that's a 90, right? I think. Injoku? Shit. Okay, so Injoku's not what we're looking for. Any animation? Any animation at all? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Yes, it's a 92. It is. David, ooh, ooh, let's go. Hey, that's a huge upgrade. David Mayo, Barry Mottmas, baby, 6'2", 245, 87 speed, 89, he's all right. For a 92, his stats aren't very good. Jason Pierre-Paul almost, almost has better stats. 90 hit power, 92 tackle, 92 pursue. Clutch, we clutched that up. That's the wild card playoff. Huge game, huge dub. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.